Sarah, it's time to wake up. The weather in Lawrence is 73 and sunny. It will be warm today with a 10% chance of rain. Minecraft, start some coffee will you? Minecraft, connect to Alice's room. Alice, sweetie it's time to wake up. Minecraft, play the best of the 80s on Pandora. Hi, my name is Evan, and this is my smart mirror. Wake up! So we've got a bunch of things like uh, maps, reminders, and some other secret things that I'll show you in a minute. Show me a map of Seattle, Washington. Turn out the lights. Well, you can always learn. You can always learn from others. You can always get a new idea. Something that, that inspires you to have a go at doing something in a slightly different way. By sharing with other people things that I've done, other people then build on it, and I take their ideas and build on them. And it comes out of experience, and that's, that's what we need. We need the experience of other educators. Computing is a very new subject, at least the idea of compete, teaching computing as a subject discipline rather than as an applied skill. Maths and physics, they've had centuries of learning how to do this. We haven't. The key thing is to form a kind of community of practice in which teachers and other people who are interested, not just teachers, can have a conversation with each other about how best to do this. So I think this is the first time we've seen a magazine like this that is for educators in this space that's about making, it's about um, electronics, it's about computer science, it's about you know STEM education as a whole. I think that's really exciting for educators and it's also the first time I think we've seen a magazine in this space that's written by serving educators and by people who are in this space doing research as well and that's really exciting. By sharing my idea. Oh. Hey guys, Dave is here. In this video, we're going to be making an automated door lock for your home, which you can connect with your smartphone. And multiple smartphones can be connected to this door lock using a shared username and password. You can also receive notifications on your phone whenever someone else locks or unlocks your door. And since this design doesn't work with a key, make sure you have a way to get into your home, like through a back door or your garage. And as always, the full parts list to this project will be posted in the description. To make the door lock actuate, we're going to need a high torque servo. This particular server has...